Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is Acquire by Renegade Game Studios. Acquire is a classic board game where you play as a shrewd real estate tycoon investing in, well, hotels. And your objective is to basically construct hotels, make them larger, acquire stocks in those hotels, merge them with other smaller hotels to make your chain larger, and then you'll eventually lose some hotel chains, gain bonuses to thus invest in new hotels chains and at the end of the game when one hotel has either become 41 tiles long or when all of them have been considered safe meaning at least 11 tiles or more the game will end and you'll score up how many points you have whether it be by stocks or just purely from bonuses or a combination of the two and whoever has the most value at the end is the winner. The game plays two to six players, takes roughly about an hour or maybe two to even three hours to play, depending on how thoughtful you are, and it's for ages 13 and up. Let's talk about how to set the game up, the basics of how to play, most of you probably know how to play Acquire, and then finally, my review. So this is the new revamped version of Acquire by Renegade Game Studios, and so all the pieces are gonna be a little different, which I'll talk about mainly in my review, but it will work for setup as well. First, take the large 3D game board and place it out within reach of all players. This is going to be where you place your hotel chain portions to make large hotel chains. Then go ahead and take all the stocks of all the different seven hotel chains and place them in stacks of their same type. You're going to have Festival and Saxon and Tower and Imperial and Worldwide and etc. etc. You're also then going to take out these player aids here. These are going to be used for either classic or tycoon mode, and you're going to be able to not only understand the hotel chain sizes and their basic buy and sell values, but also their stock stockholder bonuses for when they get merged. And based on the game you're playing, you choose which side. There's also a game reference card to explain turn sequence and what happens when you merge, which you can keep within reach of all players, as well as money. Money, there are four types of money. You're going to have the five thousands, the one thousands, the five hundred bucks, and the one hundred bucks. Place them in stacks in the box here, as well as the hotels. These are the 3D pieces you'll place over the tiles here to represent the hotels and the chains. Uh, you'll place these in the little standy holders here. They also come with little flags uh, that you can choose to use or not. They're for cosmetic purposes. Uh, the rest of the game are just these these little stacks of uh, tiles here. They're three little tile pieces that you'll place on the game board to illustrate where your hotel chains are being built. Go ahead and take all these pieces and shuffle them all up and place them in the box so that nobody can see them. That way they can just grab them from the box and then give six of them out to each player. Each player is also gonna get a number of money. You're gonna get four or five $100 bills, three $500 bills, and four $1,000 bills. And to begin the game, each player is going to take one of these tiles from this box here and place it down on their respective location. If I have a 2D, I will place it on the 2D location of the grid, and so on and so forth. The player who is closest to 1A is the player who's going to begin the game, thusly 1A all the way to 12A, 1B all the way to 12B. So 1B is farther away than 12A. That player will start and you'll just go in a clockwise manner from there with your six tiles and you'll be ready to begin the game. Acquire is simple to play and complex in strategy and the way it works is simple. Basically the player who got the closest is going to begin the game and on their turn they're going to take their three phases. Once the three phases are done the next player will get a chance to take their three phases and it will continue going clockwise until the game ends. Meaning that one hotel chain hits 41 building tiles adjacency or all the buildings are now safe, meaning they all um, have hotel chains built and there's at least 11 tiles connected to them for each individual one. Uh, right now though, as you can see, there's only five pieces on the grid here and none of them are connected to each other. So there's no hotel chains that have been built. So on your turn you will do is you will first take any building tile that you have that is yours, so you should have six to begin with, and place it on the game board. When you place it on the game board, you're going to choose the location that fits. So 4A is going to go on a 4A tile space. Then you can buy up to three stocks from any active hotel chain. Currently there are no active hotel chains, so thusly you cannot buy any stocks from any hotels. So what you'll do after that is you will draw a new building tile from this uh, tile draw area here. You can also put them in a bag or place them all face down on the table. It's really up to you how you want to do it. And once you have that, you're done and the next player will begin to take their turn and you'll rinse and repeat. So if my turn comes again after everybody has gone, 
I can then place this 5A down. And now look, I actually have two, or I have three in this case, hotel buildings. So they've now connected to form a hotel chain, and I can choose any of these color buildings to create my hotel. So if I want, I can take this green one, and I can place it on any of the three, doesn't matter because they're all the same, uh, to create festival. So festival is now the hotel chain that has been built, and now I'm able to finally start buying stock in festival. Additionally, when you actually build a hotel chain, you'll get a free stock from that specific hotel chain. Yeah, now I can go ahead and purchase three if I'd like, and I can go ahead and check my sheet here. This little sheet explains, depending on playing classic or tycoon mode, we'll just do classic. Uh, festival has three, thusly I can buy or sell stocks from Festival for $400. And so I will buy three of them and I'll pay $1,200 from the money supply that I have when I started the game. After I've bought my stocks from Festival, my now new action is going to be to simply draw a new tile here. And once again, rinse and repeat. And the game will progress from that, simply placing tiles, creating hotel chains, and thusly gaining the bonus for building the hotel chain, as well as being able to buy additional stocks for any active hotels. I don't need to be the person to place to create the active hotel to buy from it as long as it is active. So once I built this, everybody else can buy from Festival, but I'm going to get a free bonus stock and I can also buy from it first. Another interesting thing about this game is when you have a hotel chain and uh, basically there are other hotel chains in the game, if you connect both of them, that creates a merger. And when a merger happens, uh, you are going to basically turn the larger hotel chain uh, into all of it. So if I have three, five from green and two from blue and I place that one that connects them all, now all of them are green. But you'll go through the merger process. You'll count the building tiles in the hotel chains before you merge. So before you place the tile, you count how many there are, and that determines who actually becomes the merged hotel. The smaller chain becomes acquired and you remove its headquarter building from the game. So if there's a headquarter, you remove that building and then you'll count up stocks, distribute bonuses to the top shareholders in the acquired hotel chain. You can do three things with your stocks that you have from the lost hotel chain. So when green takes over blue, for instance, whatever you have of those blue stocks, because there's no more blue hotel on the board anymore, you might choose to not want to have those anymore. Well, you can keep them hopefully for a later date in which blue comes back and hopefully in a stronger way, or you can sell them for the cost on your sheet, or you can trade them at two for one for your two blue for one green. Uh, and then after that, you're gonna simply be done with the merger. So mergers will happen quite often in this game, uh, making hotel chains uh, basically become larger and the smaller ones be removed from the game. And so chains will get bigger and bigger and bigger. And the reason why you wanna do that is because at the end of the game, the more hotel buildings that you have acquired and that are connected to your hotel chain, the more value they're going, the stocks are going to be worth. Additionally, merging hotels and just getting enough to where you can gain a bonus for selling those uh, hotels, you'll get up to like $12,000. So it's a way to acquire more cash by merging hotels as well. So there is a bit of strategy in not only just buying the strongest hotels, but enough stocks to buy into the ones that are merging to gain that bonus as well. Because the, the big hotels basically paying off the smaller hotels to acquire them. And that's, that's the game, right? Playing down tiles, buying active hotel stocks for chains that are available, and then after that, drawing a new tile. Wincing and repeating until the very end of the game where one hotel chain reigns supreme or all of them have become locked. Whoever has the most points in Acquire is the win at the end. Let's see how you do. Okay, so let's talk about Acquire. Two part review though. First part for those of you who have already played Acquire, maybe already own it or want to re-own it. And the second part for those of you who have never played Acquire. This game is the remastered version of Acquire. Instead of having an indented board or a flat board with pieces that are tiles, this has now got a 3D element to it. It looks like Lego pieces. And when you place down your tiles onto the grid here, it now fits perfectly on the grid. They don't slide, they don't move anywhere, and they can connect to each other. Uh, and they also stack on top of each other as well for easier storage. Additionally, too, you're gonna notice that not only are the pieces like Legos and the board like a grid, but also you now have these hotel chains that can actually fit on top of the tiles so that they also are snug and they don't move. 
And you'll notice that there are little flags here that you can insert onto the hotel chains, just add a little bit extra flair to them if you'd like. The money itself is still paper money, it's the most, you know, regular generic paper money from Monopoly you'd imagine, and the tile pieces are nice thick Lego pieces of plastic, they work very well. Uh, the player board uh, that you'll be utilizing for classic or tycoon mode is nice, thick, and works very well, explains the hotel ch chain size, buying and selling stocks from that type, and then the bonuses you get as a primary, secondary, or tertiary shareholder. More stocks, more bonus. And this works well for both game modes. I also really love this. This is the turn sequence and the merger steps so that for new players, they can simply look at this and see how it works to merge hotels and of course, to take your turn, making it very, very simple gameplay. And in fact, after reviewing Diplomacy, this is what was missing in Diplomacy. Something like this is very simple, straightforward with the steps included. It makes it a lot easier to understand the game more because that game is probably as complex as this as far as strategy goes. This has got a better way of introducing it to newer players. The hotel chain uh, cards are very nice as well. These are your stocks that you be gaining in the game. They're thick, work very well for the cards and stocks. And I like those as well. The artwork is great works well. You understand that this is a game about acquiring shares for hotels. You're a tycoon investing in the hotel real estate business and you are trying to basically gain as many stocks from larger hotels as you can and gain the biggest bonus as the uh, beneficiary of stocks from smaller hotels when they merge. Only thing I really wish, honestly, is the money. I wish this money were like the cards. I wish they were thicker uh, pieces of cardboard as opposed to the paper. I'm never a big fan of paper money. Maybe if it was, maybe I'll choose to laminate this in some way just to make it thicker and easier to grasp from me. One negative about this specific version of Acquire is paper money. And most of them have it, so you're likely not gonna find something without paper money. You can, of course, use your own money instead if you would like, but other than that, all the pieces and components are great. Speaking of other great components, the wonderful box insert that not only houses your specific tiles here, which you can pull from secretly without looking, it's also got a space for your money so that it all fits in here very well, the four different separations of the types of money you'll have, and a place to slot in your hotels as well. Love the idea of the 3D aspect and the board. It works great. Nothing is going to be damaged. This thing will last for quite some time minus the money. And the box is thick with beautiful artwork. It does a great job. I think people who enjoy Acquire are going to really enjoy this version of Acquire just based on the quality of the game itself. What's also cool about this game is it's going to have a uh, tycoon mode, which changes the rules uh, ever so slightly. It changes how mergers work and what you gain as being the primary shareholder of a hotel chain that merges. Uh, it talks about rare cases uh, when certain things happen in the book uh, that are not illustrated in all rule books, from especially the older versions of the game as well as just the more niche aspects of Acquire, because some things can happen that are not as, not as simple. Now, there's a lot of ties that can be, uh, that can accrue when it comes to merging and how that's going to work. As far as bonuses and whatnot, that'll also change in Tycoon mode, and just the currency value is different as well. And it's all kind of based on this little, this little chart here. So either way, playing either version of the game is just as simple as any other. The, now, so that's, that's all the quality components. Overall, this is the best looking version of Acquire I have seen so far. There's probably some deluxe wooden version out there, but as far as like a game you can pick up at Target, uh, this is definitely right up there with my favorite version of Acquire. And I've seen quite a few Acquires now, and I've reviewed a previous one, and I've played two or three older ones with her parents. So there you go, quite a lot of Acquire here. Gameplay for Acquire. Uh, Acquire is a dirty game. You are going to be basically placing down tiles like you would um, Scrabble, basically, attaching them to certain areas, but instead of building words, you're building hotel chains, and you're trying to gain as many stocks as you can in certain uh, companies or hotel chains as you can that are, you, you believe are going to grow. It's kind of a... It's kind of like the stock market where you invest in something that you think is going to grow based on what other people have, what other tiles people are playing, noticing how they're building hotel chains and how close those chains are getting to the chains that you're working with. Typically speaking, you can choose to go with a certain number of them and risk it for the biscuit, or you can kind of branch out and take a little piece of everything and get a little bonus action in every way that you possibly can and hope to gain the most value at the end of the game. There's a really a lot of strategy in Acquire and how you choose to utilize not only your money but your stocks and how you want to encourage yourself to merge to gain more money to buy more stocks because as the game gets later, the bonuses get higher if you can acquire them and the cost for buying new additional um, 
uh, stocks in that specific building get more. So you'll be able to build onto larger chains, but you might not be able to purchase those chains stocks because you might not have the money for them because you don't have the bonuses from the merges that you didn't complete earlier in the game. So you have to always be thinking about these little complexities in the game. It's a classic game. There's a lot of heartbreak in this. Uh, it's, it's not as dirty as something like Monopoly. There's not as much, there's not really any type of luck in this game. This is all strategy, similar to like diplomacy and the idea of you know what tiles you have. You have an idea of what each player has based on where they're placing, what they want to do, what stocks they have. You can play this in two ways. If it's your first time playing, and trust me, do this. If it's your first time playing or you have people that are first time players, do not hide your stocks and your money. Reveal everything. Let people know what's there. Have an idea of what they're supposed to try and do. Where the complexity of the game doesn't come into how it's played, but the strategies people try and employ. So they'll get at least a little taste of everybody's strategy the first time around before they get into the big guns where you're hiding your stocks and your money. And Nobody will have a clue other than what you previously purchased and having to try to remember all that is a bit of a challenge. But but it's good when you're playing with people who have been playing this game for quite some time. My first time playing a choir, everybody had the money, everybody was dirty, and I hated this game. <laughs> I just couldn't stand it because it just felt so mean and I didn't understand what was going on and I felt like all the rules they were teaching me, well, were teaching me, the connections and all that were we're like, oh, okay, I can do this. And like, yeah, you can do that. And so I do it. And then they merge on me and I'm like, oh, I just lost it. And like, oh yeah, that happens too. And I'm just like, oh, like had I known that was a thing that you were gonna do. And so having that openness uh, for the first game is gonna be beneficial because Acquire is an excellent game. It's complex, it can be dirty. There's a lot of different strategies you can choose from. And it's very simple to get people into board gaming. This is a great gateway game. It's a great classic game. There's so many iterations of Acquire that have come out over the years. And for good reason, good measure, many, many people I know really, really love this game. And I have acquired a new love for the game as well because there is a lot to love about the game. And when you know everything and you wanna play as hard as you want, it's fun. And when you're starting off with new players, giving them that ability to have strategy and still having to come out with a win is a nice way of playing as well. High quality, beautiful version of Acquire with a lot of fun components. Please, please no more paper money though. Otherwise, it's a solid, solid version of my new enjoyed Acquired Taste Acquire. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Acquire from Renegade Game Studios. If you're interested in picking up this version of the game, I will have a link down below in the description. And I do strongly encourage you to look at this and other versions of Acquire if it's something you're very interested in picking up. Personally for me though, this is my favorite thus far that I have seen, but you might in the comments show me some crazy collector's one. I'd be interested in seeing some beautiful hotel chain version of Acquire, but this is a great one, especially for a gift or if you never had a choir and you've been playing it and you want to play it, this is it's, it's really good. They did a really great job. I'm very excited about this one here. Uh, you can also check out our live streams every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST where we play games just like this one and this one might be up on the docket for next week. We'll see. As well as, of course, our Whatnot streams on Thursday at 6.30 p.m. PST where we sell games similar to this one as well. Talk about games, do other kind of stuff as well as the Discord. Links all down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to acquiring all of your hotel chains, gaining stock in all the major ones, and having you miss out on everything next time.